December the 5th, 2010. And we thank you for taking the time out of your day to spend with Greater New Hope Church International. Today we are going to be hearing from Pastor Charles McDaniel. The message is entitled, Thankfulness Part Two. We will be coming from Psalms 100, verse four, Colossians 3 and 15. Pastor McDaniel will be coming from the King James Version. Again, we thank you for joining us. Please open your hearts and minds to be filled with the word of God. And everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians 5 and 18. Thank you. Praise and give God the glory. Amen, amen. This truly is a beautiful service today. I hope you are just absorbing his Shekinah glory. See, it's just so good when you come to God's house. You're, you're going to get something. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I tell you, darlings, it's time that we began to realize just how good God is. I mean, yes, we all can write a book on what's going on in our lives. But are you thankful that something is going on in your Amen. life? Amen. <laughs> It's, 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 it's just something that we feel we get wound up and caught up in what the world says life ought to be. And we're not thankful to God for what the life is right now. I tell you, too often, it still amazes me when God's spirit, because before I go to the text, I do want to read something that the Lord gave me for a little while I was standing here. I just, I don't have a lot of y'all. I had to open the book sometime. He just speaks right then and there. Amen. And it says, it's very personal, even if it pertains even to your family and everyone. It says in, in Isaiah 63, verse 7, very personal. I will mention, y'all better hear this now, of the loving kindness of the Lord. I'm going to do that because I'm thankful to him. Yes, sir. Uh, you hear what I'm saying? And see, if I can do that to him, I don't have no problem walking up to you. Sister Mike, I love you. Amen. Everybody in Greater New Hope, I just love you. I, don't, I, that, I love you. It's just that simple. It, it's no... See, you don't control love. Love is, is what it is. That agape love emanates out of that love you have for the Father Amen. and you God's child. So how can I help but love you? That's right. Hallelujah. And, and I know what it done for me. That's why I can say I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord has bestowed on us. He's bestowed enough on us right now. Why are we thankful? Why do we let the things that seem like they're so bad here on the earth oppress us and not realize that all the stuff that God has already bestowed upon us? And the great, wait a minute, and the great goodness towards the house of Yah Israel, which he has bestowed on them, how did he do it? According to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. Aren't you thankful for that? I said, aren't you thankful for that in spite of what I, yeah, all the multitude of the things that he's bestowed upon us already. Just, why can't we be thankful? Lord have mercy. Psalm 104, it says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. But the emphasis is on is be thankful unto him. Uh, you understand, just, we read things in Sunday school today that it was, it's, it's incredible. 
How he says, I have everlasting strength. My word is going to stand forever. We ought to be thankful for that. And bless his name. Now in Colossians, says, it's active our word. And let. Notice this is a very important verse. The peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you are called in one body, and be ye thankful. See, that's more than a statement. You're called in one body. There's a unity of the spirit. You draw strength even in the natural one from the other. If I got it and I'm a child of God, you got it. Speak, Holy Spirit. Speak. And if you got it, and you he said, how can you say you love me, and when you see your brother in need and you clothe your vows of mercies, how can you say the love of God is in you? Anybody read that in the Bible? Okay, I don't want to know. I don't, and see, you see, we have to mention the loving kindness of God. That, that has to come out of your thankfulness. When I'm going to say again, if I'm, some of us know where we came from. Oh, yeah. I grew up in Five Point. Some of y'all might not know what that's all about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I, hey, uh, they counted if it was, didn't but one get killed that day. They thought that was a good day. That's right. That's right, Pastor. Five Point. Wow. That's on Germantown, back over there. They yeah. tore it all down by the time they had it. It was rough yeah. over there. But God, still, I got to make mention. I ain't in five point no more. Amen. Amen. It may not be good in English, but it, it's the truth anyway. And see what we have to realize in, in Proverbs 18 and verse 16. Now write it down if you don't. See, what God has put in you. You think you're doing this, but no. It says a man, an all-inclusive statement. Gifts make room for him and bring of him before great men. In other words, it doesn't matter. It, you know, whether the person, you might be the supervisor, but God may put a great person in your life. They may be right under you. Amen. I can't make it out here without all of those folks around. Amen. They're not there because this, that, and other, and so forth. They were there because that's an appointment of God. Amen. I cannot do what I do. I have no more jurisdiction with God than they do. You let them don't pay that light bill. What I'm going to do in here? Yeah. And it's the same for you. We need each other. Yes, sir, what did we just read? We're one body. Yes. One body. And if all the body is operating in a thankfulness to God, how are we going to miss? Can't do it. Everything we need, God will provide. And when he provided, when you see what his house needs, you don't have any problem. Because folks, what time, other time, they got so fine, fat, and happy, God had to tap them on the door. They look at me, y'all forgot, my house ain't built. Look at all y'all, y'all got seated everything around. You gonna let my house go in the ruin? Aren't you thankful enough to what I've already blessed you with? And y'all know I ain't no beg for nobody for no money. I'm just being real. That's what he said. The multitude that he's already bestowed upon us. Look around. God's been good. It's time for us to be thankful. Yes. Amen. Nehemiah, the fourth chapter in the 20th. I want to show these things to you because we're going to have to do a contrasting concoupled here. God makes it plain as to what happens when you're not thankful. And I'm pretty sure that would not fit anybody in here. But we're going to tell you what the book says. We ain't got that yet, though. Uh, Nehemiah 4, verse 20. In what place, therefore, ye hear the sound of the trumpet? Resort ye hither unto us. Now, you got to understand, down here, we're going to hear some warfare going on. I think we've got it going on now. Yeah. But look what he said do, though. It says, look. When you hear the sound, there's another trumpet we're getting ready on. When that sound is over then, but that happens at the seventh trump, seventh seal, seventh vial. But it says, in 
What place therefore you hear the sound of the trumpet? Resort ye thither unto us. Why? Get into God's, our God, 